Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Fixer Med, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect your Joy-Con to your Anki review software. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, you're just gonna need Anki, a computer with a working internet connection, and you're gonna need the add-on Kant Anki. Kant Anki is basically the controller mapping software we're gonna be using for this tutorial. Uh, I've used it in other tutorials as well, so nothing too different, just scroll down get the add-on code number. You can also find the add-on code number here at near the uh, web address. Open up your Anki, hit tools, add-ons. Go ahead and hit get add-ons. Enter the code in, hit okay. Add-on is getting downloaded. Go ahead and restart your Anki. Okay, now for the next step, open up your Bluetooth settings and hit the uh, sync button on your Joy-Con. The sync button can be found in the middle of the SL and SR keys on your Joy-Con. So it's in the middle, the part where you slide the Joy-Con into the switch. Just go ahead and hit the sync button. Hold it down for a few seconds until it pops up here. As you see, it popped up. Go ahead and connect it. All right, my Joy-Con's connected. I'm gonna go ahead and relaunch Anki. Processing everything. There we go, no new updates. Go ahead and just hit any button on your Joy-Con to see that it's connected. My Joy-Con is connected, so I'm gonna go to Tools add-ons, Kant Anki. Now you're not actually able to um, open this software until you connect your controller to it. So the uh, UI for the mapping system doesn't open up until you have your controller connected fully. So when you do connect it via Bluetooth, uh, just hit A or something on your controller and it should say right Joy-Con connected. All right, let's go ahead and map this bad boy. So nothing too much. Oh, and I want to mention that I have the G and comma buttons here as a custom action. So G is to, for image occlusion enhanced. It's to reveal all the masks on those pictures. I've shown it on the image occlusion enhanced tutorial on how to do that. And the comma is just for multiple, multiple answer questions. So like if you're an Anki uh, or Anking, and there's five answer choices and you had to list them all at once, you can hit comma to see the answers. If you don't, you can just only assume you got the answer right. So keep that in mind. That's why I have G and comma here as custom action keys if I need them for the controller. So default should be about the same. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna keep this simple. You guys can play around with this if you want to have some extra controls on it. The main thing I really care about are the review question and answer pages. So that's the one thing that we use this thing for. So B is, I like saying A is good. B is again is a good one. I like having X as easy. Y as hard. ZR. I like having ZR as undo. I like having R as redo that's just my pref personal preference uh, you guys can choose whatever you want and there's sl and sr i like leaving these as my g and comma so sl for comma sr for g 
Home button is to open browser or go to main screen. It's a tough choice. There's only so many buttons you have and you don't want to waste your buttons. So these are the controls I like using at a minimum. And then you can have those on your review, question, etc. But for the sake of mapping it, this is the bare minimum you need to have to succeed in the Anki reviews comfortably. Uh, you don't need it to be super fancy, but you can play around with the mapping system compared to the 8-bit dough mapping I had pre-installed. And yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If it did, be sure to leave a like and leave some helpful feedback in the comment section if you want. Um, as always, this is Fixer Med signing off. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.